delighted to be sitting down with you, Shea, outside of the lecture hall and in a beautiful environment here in Vintook to share with us a little bit about the profession of accountancy. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to have you. Thank you. So tell us, you are a lecturer of accounting at the University of Namibia. What's that like? Um, it's quite interesting, I must say. Um, something that I definitely uh, enjoy, actually imparting knowledge to, uh, to, to, to students. So yeah, it's something that I definitely enjoy and I, and I just love it. And did you always know that you wanted to become an accountant and study accountancy? Yes, uh, definitely. And it all started basically when I started doing accounting, that was in, um, in grade 8. And so when I, when I was introduced to accounting, the debits and credits and how you actually account for money, it, it, just, it just started becoming uh, very much interesting and uh, from there I just decided that you know, accounting is the area that I definitely want to go into and I started doing more research in terms of the career possibilities that are there and yeah, that's how I ended up today as a chartered accountant. Amazing. Yeah. And, and do you need to have a passion for numbers to become an accountant? Of course you need to. Uh, the, the very first most thing is that you need to have a passion for what you actually want to do. So numbers, you know, you need to be analytical, you need to um, you, you need to pay attention to detail, but passion for numbers is, uh, is, is very much key. And that's why they always emphasize on mathematics. Yes. And would you also recommend that taking mathematics and accounting in school is something that's is good for every person, irrelevant of if you want to study accounting or not? Yeah, I mean, mathematics is not only a discipline that's only needed for accounting. I mean, every day in life we need to account for things. You know, even an ordinary person, you know, say you're selling capana on the street, they need to know you know uh, what to what to add, what to minus, and what to divide, etc. So mathematics is very much uh, is very much key for, key for everyone. everyone. Yes. And so now let's start on the journey of you becoming an accountant. How did you become one? Where did you study, and what was that like? Okay. Um, in terms of uh, high school, I matriculated at Okanda Secondary School. From there, I went to the University of Namibia to do my um, undergraduate degree. From there, I went to Rhodes University for a bridging. Uh, program because do the past also do the previous uh, degree. If you want to become a chartered accountant coming from the University of Namibia, you have to go to South Africa, do a one year bridging. Once you pass that, then you need to do the one year CTA program, which is what I did at um, Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University. That was my first full time attempt. So I didn't make it. Uh, I came back, started with my articles at Deloitte and Touche while studying um, part time to obtain my. To obtain my CTA, which I eventually obtained, and then I wrote my professional board exam one. The first one I also didn't make it, and then I had to repeat, and then wrote the final one, and then I qualified as a, as a chartered accountant. The journey was not easy, uh, especially at university, you know, or more especially when I came back and had to do my CTA uh, uh, part time while working, because it's work, it's studies, it's family, and you know, of my life, my social life. But yeah, at the end of the day, it paid off. Absolutely. Yes. And it sounds like it is a difficult career in that sense to study towards. You need to have discipline. It's not an easy going field, but it's worth it in the end. The rewards are there. Yes. So what would your advice be for somebody who is perhaps in the middle of their career and feeling that difficulty? You know, in life, nothing is easy. You know, you, you need to go through obstacles, you fall, you need to pick yourself up eight times and, you know, uh, face the road ahead. So, don't give up, stay committed, dedication and working smartly to, to actually obtain your goals, but never give up. Another, I will, there's always just one thing that I always say, that the sun always shines. That's no matter true. what, the sun always shines. That's so, very true. commitment is, uh, is very much key. Absolutely, and that's true in life yeah. for everything. And so, after you became a chartered accountant, where to from there? So, um, so when I when I completed my articles at Deloitte, I was not a chartered accountant yet, and then I qualified after articles. And I worked at the, I worked at F and B, and then I also worked at uh, Alta and Lis. And now um, I'm lecturing at the University of Namibia, and also with a bit of involvement with community work. Yes. Lovely. And what would you say is the highlight of this profession? Well, the highlight of the profession to me, number one, would be the recognition that one actually gets from being a chartered accountant. Because if you tell 
someone that I may see, they'll be like, wow, you know. So to me, definitely, is the what is the recognition. And secondly, to me, is the skills that we uh, as CAs actually uh, possess, the sort after skill, uh, you know, to contribute also to the country's economy. And really, these days, if you look at in terms of say even board members being appointed, you know, on every board there is always a, there's always a, um, a chartered accountant. So yeah, those ones would be my highlights. Good highlights. And really also the other ones we really, you know, having worked in various industry, that experience that you always uh, that you always uh, uh, pick up. meeting new people and professionals. Yes. Okay, so would you advise somebody to go into the profession of accountancy? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, if you have if you have the passion for it, if you love accounting and numbers, definitely um, go for it. You know, it's not only in terms of uh, in terms of the money, the the, 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 what the financial rewards that are available, but like I said, it's a recognition. To, you know, you stand out in your community as well, and really also the contribution that you also make to the to the country. So, if you love numbers, that's your passion. Go for it, full force and don't look back. It's a, it's, it's a long route, but at the end of the day, it's really worth it, trust me. Okay, wonderful. Yes. What would you say is the value that is defined by this profession? The, um, the one value is the fact that um, ethical behavior with high moral values. I mean, that's something that we cannot uh, take away from. So you need to be an ethical uh, person, and also you need to be a well-rounded business uh, leader. So those are some of the values. Okay. And are these some of the values that you're imparting then on the students at yes, the University definitely. of Namibia? Yes, definitely. What do you enjoy about being a lecturer there? Um, you know, when students say, uh, come to me, say they have got a, a, a problem, for example, in a specific subject, you know, the help that you will, the, you know, that I actually give them. And at the end of the day, you know, just the fact that they they have passed, it really gives me that that satisfaction that I've at least contributed. And say even to those who don't pass, you know, I also contribute in a way of you know, motivating the student to say, you know what, you know, we have all gone through it, you know, you will always find uh, obstacles in life. What's very key is the fact that you need to always face the road ahead. Absolutely, and it's a really good advice for life because many times in life we will fail, but yes. it's up to us to get up again and to try again. Exactly. And in terms of the experiences that you've had with students whose lives have been changed because of accountancy, have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, some of our students now, they finished the degree, and now they are actually busy with their what, with their with their articles, or they are actually busy with their uh, full-time employment outside the outside the auditing uh, um, uh, profession. And it's just very rewarding, like say um, at the place, and I meet one of the students, and like, oh hi, say I finished, I'm now working here, and yeah, it just makes me feel good that I at least contributed uh, to someone's uh, learning. It's absolutely beautiful. Cher, what would you say was the single most important piece of business advice that you ever received? Okay, uh, the, uh, the one critical advice that I actually received was that in business, if you want to start a business, you don't need to always wait for everything to be 100% in place. The key issue is start. Once you start, then things will actually start for, uh, getting into place. That advice I was given by Tobio uh, Akadipa, the owner of uh, of Kwama. And the other advice that I was also given by uh, Mr. Junius Mangunda, who is now the current CEO of Standard Bank, is that in business you need to be an ethical business leader with high moral values. Those are two critical advices that, I actually, advice. uh, that I actually need. Fantastic. And on that note, what would your advice be for somebody who is considering starting out this path, this journey to become an accountant? Like I said, have passion for it, love what you want to do, and if that's really what you really want to do, go for it. Full force, never look back, work hard, be committed, and at the end of the day, you'll be smiling all the way. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. And for somebody who's in the middle of their career, what would your advice be to keep on going in this, on this path? Keep going, you'll find obstacles, but keep pushing. Uh, we have all been there, don't give up. I always say, uh, I'm, a, I'm always a believer of not quitting something that I have started. I need to finish something that I have actually started. So 
complete it all the way. So yeah. yeah. You're gonna and feel better in the end when you do. Exactly. And at the end of the day also. Have fun. Yeah. It's life, so Absolutely. have fun. Would you say that this is a fun profession as well? Very much, yeah. Even though others might perceive it to be a boring profession, for me I find it quite fun. Yeah. You know, in terms of my interaction, in terms of what I do, it's something that I you know that I definitely love. So it's fulfilled you. Yes. That's wonderful. What would you say has been the life lesson that you have learned by being an accountant? Hard work, commitment towards anything that you uh, that you do, uh, working with different people, with different diverse backgrounds, and really also continuously learning, you know, learning and always continuously learning and really developing that uh, personal brand of yours. So those are the, the, what the aspects that I actually consider. That's beautiful. And it seems as though the profession of accounting is something that you do continuously learn in, which is a wonderful philosophy for life, because in life we need to be continuously learning yes. so that we grow. Exactly. And, and, and you know, in, in terms of learning even, you know, I always believe education is really the key. You and the founding father always stress on that, that education is the key and really continue developing yourself. So if you finish studying but in 10 years back, continue learning. You know, things always develop, new things always uh, come about. So Exactly, and it's absolutely you're benefiting yourself exactly. by doing so. Shay, it's been so insightful. Thank you for coming to inspire us on the career path of accounting. Would you like to share anything else for our viewers as we close up? Like I said, be committed to anything that you do uh, and have fun. Just have fun. Some really good advice. Thank you so much for coming to share that really good so advice much. with us. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thanks.